Alright, uh, it's Mother's Day, and uh, my mother's in the ground, so is my father. My mother's been dead a long time. She died in uh, 1998. She was in her 60s. But, uh, and I'm not far off from how old she was. I mean, I'm almost 10 years away uh, from what she was when she died. So, uh, you know, she was like 67, and I'm 57, so I'm, you know, but I just want to say... I hope everybody had a great Mother's Day. Uh, I'm filming this on Mother's Day. You're probably going to see it the day after. Uh, so I hope you all had a great Mother's Day. I uh, I hope some of you fathers too that raise your kids. I'm in a graveyard right now, so you know. Uh, but uh, I hope some of you fathers that raise your kids. I hope uh, I hope you had a great Mother's Day too, because you see. Being a mom or being a dad, any any man can father a child. Any woman could give birth to a child, but not every man could be a dad, and not every mother could be a mom. My mother was a mom. My mother did so much for me. You know, I can't even tell you. You know, she had to deal with a lot. My mother had a really rough life. She grew up in the South Bronx. You know, and she was uh, she had a lot of you know things happen to her. But she ne always made sure that me and my sister grew up, you know, with everything we ever needed, you know. Uh, I kind of was the sheep that strayed, but you all know my story. But it's not about me, it's about moms, all right. And I hope that you guys out there, if you, if you have trouble with your mother, and maybe there's drama, I'm driving, like I said, this is a graveyard here, show them, look, we're in a graveyard. This almost looks like, uh, this almost looks like, hell, Barbara, you know, from that movie. Uh, we're on a hillside over here, but uh, regardless, you know, from the Night of Living Dead. But listen, you know, you got to understand something. If you're estranged from your parents, if you're one of those people that, like, I haven't talked to my mother in years, you know, and, you know, maybe your mother's got issues or whatever. I, I mean, it's easy for me to tell you to try to overlook them or try to whatever, but you only get one shot with your mom and one shot with your dad. Once they're gone, bro, let me tell you, you have no idea what that's like. All right, you have no idea. I'm a great father to my children. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, they got a mother, a good mother, but I'm mom and dad to them too. You know what I mean? And especially with my daughter. So, what I just want to say is, even if you know, there's dads out there who raised without absent, you know, with no wife, no absentee moms. You know, maybe the mom was fucked up. I don't know. Happy Mother's Day to you guys, too. So, it's just, just a little Mother's Day rant. I don't know. You know, we're all a little somber today because, you know, our mom, you know, my mom's dead. She's been dead for a long time. But, so, enjoy your mother. Enjoy your father. Enjoy your children. Be good to your girl. Be good to your wife. Whatever. You know, because you don't know. One day you're going to wake up and you're going to wish... You're going to wish that you could still just talk to them or hear their voice or hear their wisdom or be able to just get it off your chest and, 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 and you know, tell them what's inside you. I can't do that. Both my parents are dead, you know. But if your parents are alive, I don't give a shit. Just be grateful. As Greg Valentino saying, stop fucking around. Be good to your mothers. You only got one mother. Stop booking around.